guys, sorry about that. That was my son Damon calling. Uh, he called unexpectedly. I wasn't expecting him to call today. Um, anyway, guys, what I was saying was, please don't judge me. Do not judge me. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, back to the cabbage. I think I was saying I like to use tongs to stir my cabbage up. Um, I'm not really good at this, guys, as far as cooking this type of food. So, like I said, a lot of things is kind of like first time of me doing it. Um, I've watched it be, get done before. So I know a little bit about how to get it started. Um, so again, I use salt and pepper to season it. I used a little bit of seasoning salt just to give it that added flavor. So, right now I have this grease in this pan right here for the pork chops, which should be just about warm enough. So, I don't have all the fancy stuff yet, guys, that uh, you use to put your meat and flour inside of a thing to shake it up. So, I use uh, like a grocery store bag. So, here's the pork chops, guys. I'll zoom this in a little bit so you guys can see what I did. Again, I don't have all the fancy seasonings just yet, but work in progress so all I'm gonna do basically is um, these are as, as as you can see these are thin cut boneless pork chops these are extremely thin so I would assume it would take a couple of minutes per side to fry these pork chops again I used um, this uh, french fry seasoning it's actually one of my favorites a regular black pepper um, and of course you guys know this will definitely come in last can't eat that without the hot sauce so all I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna take a couple of these thin boneless pork chops um, I will call them pork chop fillets put them in the uh, oops put them in the batter actually it's five of them I'll just put them all in there just to get it over with and now what I'll do Hold on, guys. Oh, new camera. I have to get me a partner, man. A YouTube partner to help me out. Uh, man, everybody's so busy now these days. But anyway, I'm just going to grab the bag, guys. Kind of like wrap it around. Just so you can see. I'm just going to shake the batter up inside of the bag. That way, the, um, the thin cut bonus pork chops are kind of just mixed with the batter pretty good. And then I'm going to actually it's kind of odd trying to do this with the camera but someone in the last vlog says we've seen the greens and we've seen the fish but we did not actually see the fish cooking so that's what making this a little bit difficult for me so once the pork thin cut pork chop is battered what i'm doing is shaking it off shaking off the excess flour into the bag so the pork chop looks like that when it comes out let me readjust here all right, so we have this one thin cut, and we're gonna put it right in this grease. And see how that grease is popping when I put it in there? That's a good sign that the grease is hot, perfectly hot. So we gotta move quick on this because the grease is really hot and they're gonna cook pretty fast. That's two. Ooh, crazy, right? Mmm, look at that. Three. I might be able to get two more in there. Because I only have two left in the bag. Now you're probably wondering why I'm cooking five of these thin pork chop fillets when it's just me. It's because I can eat a couple for dinner tonight. And I can have lunch as well tomorrow already prepared. So if I'm waking up later than usual, it won't really be a big deal because I'll have my lunch already prepared for tomorrow. And I'll have it already packed up and ready to go. So that's that's pretty awesome. So I try to cook enough food when I cook at night time. Well, when I cook in the evening time, I try to cook myself enough food so that I not only have food for dinner, I also have food for lunch. Later on, I think I'm gonna go ahead and fry myself some sausage links and some boiled eggs for breakfast. That way I got breakfast and lunch because a lot of you people out there who work regular jobs, you know, a lot of people buy food out of vending machines at work. And it's cool like on paydays, 
But as you go through the week, you don't want to be eating that stuff like that every day out of the vending machine because that stuff can get extremely expensive. Vending machine food can get expensive. And I'm not knocking vendors, but that stuff is nasty. Most of that stuff is processed and it, it, it sits in those plastic wrappings like forever. But anyway, guys, let's go back and check on these pork chops because they sure are smelling good over there. Ooh, wee, they are popping. Look at that, guys. I don't want to get the camera too close because then it'll fog the lens up. I sure hope my son's name is okay. He's going to call me back in a minute. Sound like he was upset about something. Bianca's probably down there torturing my baby. <laughs> oh, wow. Those are actually looking pretty good, man. I think those are going to come out pretty good. And we'll check on the cabbage again. Whoa, too close with the limbs. Guys, give me your honest opinion. I am dead serious. This cabbage looks amazing. Uh-oh, there's my phone again, guys. Let's see who this is real quick. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Uh, hold on a second. Hello? Hi, Rosa. Hey. Okay, hey, listen, I'm making a vlog right now, so you're actually on the vlog. Your voice is on the vlog. What's going on, sweetheart? How you doing? I want to go to the channel. Okay. You guys hear her sexy voice? She's from Trinidad. And she has a very beautiful accent. That's probably why it's hard to understand her. But I'm going to cut this vlog. Um, Sweetheart, let me call you back in a few minutes, okay? I'm, I'm just finishing up. Will you call me back? Yes, I will call you back. Okay. Oh. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, guys, that is one of my uh, subscribers. She lives in Trinidad, Tobago. Uh, it's in the Caribbean Islands. She calls me every now and then to check on me to see how I'm doing, how I'm progressing. She also would like to come to the United States one day, which is, I think is pretty cool. Everybody wants to come to the U.S. So anyway, guys, let's get back to this. Pork chops, I believe, are a vowel. I'm going to zoom in. Wow. The pork chops are just about ready, I believe, to be flipped over. Yeah. You want to try to wait until they get like that golden brown color on them. Um, one thing about pork is you want to... They say you're supposed to cook pork at 360 degrees. There's a reason why, but I don't want to upset anyone's appetite and turn them away from pork chops because they're really good. You have a lot of people out there who, don't, who do not eat pork because they say it gives them headaches. Um, I'm not a Muslim, so... Oh, crap. Look at that zoom, man. Whoa, look at my face. A lot of people don't eat pork because they say it gives them headaches. So, I think I didn't turn my phone off or something. Why is it making that? Uh-oh. It's still on here. Oops. Why every time you end a video call on Messenger, it always asks you, do you want to rate this app? No, I don't want to rate the app. I just want to hang the phone up. Anyway, guys, I am going to check on this cabbage again and see how we're progressing. Okay, guys. The pork chops are done, the cabbage is done. So I'm gonna show you what we have here before we end this vlog. This right here is my dinner tonight. These are the pork chops. Well, I said dinner, but it's my lunch as well um, tomorrow. So I'm able to have a lunch at work without having to buy food out the vending machine. I say that doesn't look too bad. Um, not bad at all. Nice and brown on both sides. That's how you want it. And the cabbage is actually starting to get really tender. Um, so, you guys, please do me a favor in the comment section. Let me turn this back around. I'd like you guys to tell me in the comment section if you think that, oh goodness, look at that. If you think that for a single man that I do okay for myself as far as cooking, um, and what do you think, um, as far as the cabbage, what type of things did I use next time to spice the cabbage up? 
I don't like really, really spicy foods, but I like a little bit more than salt and pepper. Something with just a different taste. Something that doesn't taste like I cooked it. Because everything I cook tastes regular to me because I cook it. I want to really taste someone else's cooking. Uh, again, it'd be nice to have someone make me dinner. That would be just so amazing. Um, so let me know how you guys like this video. Um, let's get this video to maybe 400 likes. And I'll drop another fishing video. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> get this video to 400 likes and I will drop another video tomorrow frying shrimp with Damien all right guys thank you guys for watching and as usual have a extremely very blessed evening to everyone with respect kids listen to your parents and do your chores but most importantly do their homework until next time guys I'm Damien Cryer thanks for watching peace